Okay, now we've got the audio, I need to name it. Now I should have named it before I recorded it, because then it would have saved as whatever I'd recorded it. So I've actually done this a bit badly. But what I'm going to do is name it now. So I double click where it says audio 1, and I'm going to name it guitar. Now, something you can do which is quite clever in Logic is you can name these things, which in Cubase are called chunks, in Logic is called re uh, regions. You can name them the same as the tracks after you've actually recorded them. And you do that by going up to this little thing here, making sure your region's highlighted, drop down menu, region, and then you want to select track names to regions, click that, and can you see that becomes guitar? Much nicer. If you want to, you can get some colours on it. So up here in the top right, click on colours, and we can give it a blue colour. Looks very nice. Doesn't make it sound any better. You might want to see it a bit more clearly. So here is the zoomers, the slide things. And you see it zooms in and out there, and zoom in and out here. The next thing I'm going to do is play it back by pressing play. Now I'm going to mute the guitar just so I hear the guitar. I mute the organ so I just hear the guitar. And again. Now it sounds pretty poor at the moment so I'm going to need to clear it up. The way to do this, you can either go over to the little side bit here where you can see all the options for the guitar. And this is for the actual audio track. If we were on the organ, we'd already have the organ track here. And the difference between the org organ track, because it's a virtual instrument, it's MIDI. So it's going to have MIDI information in the inspector. Whereas audio has audio information in the inspector. But we haven't put anything in yet. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually use the mixing console to add a few effects to make the guitar sound better. Now, to do that, you can either click here on Mixer and you'll get the mix to spring up, which is actually quite small, as you can see, and it's quite fiddly to do like this. Or you go up to Window and select Mixer, which is also Command or Apple 2. You'll get a new window come up. Here it is. And as you can see here, Guitar, which is on track 3. Now, it's very easy to do. You've got the EQ up the top to EQ anything. Double click on it. And the EQ comes up. This is the EQ plugin. You can either draw it in like this, very useful function is Analyzer, so you can play Analyzer. As you can see there's not much in the top end, so I might want to turn the top end up a little bit. I'm also going to get rid of a bit of the bass sound by putting a bit of a cut on it, not a lot. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more in the mid. I'm now going to send it back to buff 5 again, which you can do by double clicking here, which is where the locator is, and clicking 5. And I'm going to keep the loop on as I edit it. So then go back to the w window with the mixer, click on that, and I'm going to just change the sound. Again. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a compressor. So again, the compressors, there's extensive compressors you can use, but actually the best one in Logic is the one just called Compressor. So choose that. And there's loads of presets if you want to use presets. For instance, for guitar, to get a preset, you click on where it says default. And guitar, I'm just going to use a standard uh, guitar emphasis. That sounds nice. So I'll click on that. And it gives you automatic preset for the, for the um, compressor. You can use your own settings if you want to. Underneath, these are all the inserts you can put in. So for instance, these are all plug-in inserts. You've got a choice of all sorts of things, um, from reverb, delay, through to amp modeling. Amp modeling in is excellent. We'll talk about that later. But just for this purpose, I'm going to put a bit of reverb on. The, sp the great reverb that you can use in Logic is Space Designer. But please be aware that it's massively processor heavy. So we might need to set up an auxiliary track normally. But for this one occasion, we're going to just choose the Space Designer, click Mono, and it gives me this. Then I'm going to use a, a preset patch by going to Small Spaces, and I think I use a gated reverb. 
something like a, a warm slap sounds nice. So when I press playback, you can hear it's giving it a nice bit of reverb on it. And that's how to record audio into Logic Pro.